Hi, we are now with Tim Owens, Executive Director of Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic here in Santa Barbara. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me on the show. And the first question that we would like to ask you is, what's the mission of this organization? Well, Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic it exists to provide audio textbooks to students who have print disabilities. They may be visually impaired, they may be learning disabled, and most of those have dyslexia, or they might be physically disabled. Our mission is to give them the accommodations they need so they can succeed in school. What's the background of this organization? When was it first founded? It was founded 61 years ago in New York City's public library by a woman named Ann McDonald who was a volunteer there. And she noticed that there were a lot of blind servicemen coming back from World War II who at the time got a GI Bill that allowed them to have a free college education. So they came to the library and said, would you read our books for us because we don't have time to learn Braille. And so Ann organized some volunteers to start reading their books. And eventually the demand became so great they converted the attic of the New York Public Library into a recording studio and that's how we were born. Good. Now let's talk more about your audiobook. What can people expect when using it and which accessories are required in order to have access? Sure. Well, our, you know, when you go to the store like Borders or some other bookstore where they have audiobooks on display, those aren't the kind of books that we do. We do, number one, largely textbooks. And that's one of the things that differentiates us from something you can buy off the shelf. Secondly, we are a lending library. And so you're not purchasing our books. We are lending them to those who need it. And we serve individuals and schools. The other thing that makes us a little different is that because we're doing textbooks, students have to navigate through these textbooks. Uh, you know, they have to go from page one to page 40, chapter seven to chapter 17. So the playback devices have all of these capabilities. The way the books used to be as distributed were on cassette tape and before that in records. And it was just linear, so it would just play along. You can never find out where you wanted to go. So how new technology has helped or improved your service, especially with the internet? Well, we've gone from serving nationwide uh, about 200,000 students to 250,000 students in just a year. And largely the reason for that is that our books are now downloadable to most MP3 type players. So how many titles do you have in your audiobook? Well, first of all, our library is centralized in Princeton, New Jersey, because we are a national organization of which we are a chapter. It's the largest audio textbook library in the world. And right now, there's 65,000 books that are recorded digitally. How can people volunteer for you? People can volunteer by simply giving us a call or going to our website. Mainly call us, 681-0531, and uh, they can ask about our volunteer opportunities. There, we have, need readers, we need monitors, we need checkers, we need people to serve on our educational outreach committee, our fundraising committees and what have you, and, and our board of directors. So we have a bunch of different volunteer opportunities. Well, thank you so much for all that information. And we are going to interview one of your staff members. Yeah. Can you introduce her to us? Yeah, this is, you're going to meet Kristen Reed, who is our Educational Outreach Director. And locally, we cover a four-county region, by the way, of Ventura County, Santa Barbara County, San Luis Obispo, and Kern County. In just the time that Kristen has been here, we've gone from serving 350 students to 1,600 students. Why? because Kristen's story is a personal one, and it's a touching one, so that when she comes in contact with parents and teachers, she moves them about the success of RFB&D. Well, thank you, Tim, and let's welcome Kristen. Good. Thank you. And now we are at the studio of Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic. With me is Kristen Reed, the Educational Outreach Director. How are you, Kristen? I'm well. How are you? We are doing good. It's nice to have you in our show. So many questions for you. How many people benefit from this nonprofit organization? We serve 250,000 students nationwide. And locally in our region, we serve 1,600 students. And how do you, did you get involved? I got involved with Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic as a student. I am severely dyslexic as a result of a disability and started using RFB&D in junior high and went on to use it to get a BA from Westmont College and a master's degree. Good. So tell me more about your educational outreach efforts towards educating people. 
to use this library? Um, we have a couple really big goals. One is public awareness. We are one of the best kept secrets in this community and so we're really trying to raise awareness so that as many people who could benefit from, from RFBND have the ability to use it. And two is to get it in the hands of students and that's done in two ways, either through individual memberships or through school memberships. And we work directly with teachers at the school level to make sure that their students are accessing RFBND successfully. But when I think about students, it's not about just giving them the ability to access those audiobooks. It raises their self-esteem because they're able to find success like their peers are able to find success. And so they go on and reach goals that they may not have thought were originally possible. So we've made great progress, but there are almost 10,000 students in our territory that could benefit so we have a long ways to go. Good. Now tell me more about the equipment because we have something here and I would like you to demonstrate okay. you know how students can use it with no problem. So what do we have here? This is um, Welcome to Victor Reader. Our okay. Victor Reader. This is a Victor Reader classic. It is used in most of my classrooms and what happens is the schools or the students receive a CD and it just goes in this machine and they're able to play it back on this device. Go to page. So you can go to any page with the push of a button. Mm -hmm. One, two, page 12. So there you are. He liked his jeans you can and his speed up and shirt slow down how fast and his comfortable the voice sneakers. reads back. Okay. Which is really, really um, important for many of our students with learning disabilities because then they're, make, they're making sure they're able to track while they're listening. Okay. Um, you a can also bookmark. Sound. So go to bookmark. One. I've set bookmarks in this book. The equipment really allows a student to navigate through a book just like you would navigate through a book. They just do it electronically. It's excellent. This equipment is really what is needed for people to feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. as you were saying. And you can access it via CD, and now you can also access it downloadably. So you can sync it to an MP3 player or listen to it directly from your computer, and you don't need equipment. Thank you for all that information, Kristen. Thank you. And I wish the best for you and for recording for the blind and dyslexic. Thank you very much. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.